A 12 year old Middle Tennessee drummer is setting the tempo for engineering students over at Tennessee Tech. This morning, we proudly introduce Aubrey. Aubrey Sovey is playing to the beat of her own drum. It kind of just took me into a different place with like, I can do anything with it. At the age of 12, Aubrey has already sold her artwork, danced competitively, earned her black belt in Taekwondo, and currently plays the snare drum in her middle school band. And she does it all without hands. It definitely was a challenge to learn, but um, as time went on, it became easier and easier until it wasn't a difficulty at all. She used a spoon and kept soup on the spoon and flipped it around, and I thought, well, if she can do that. She can do anything. Aubrey was born as a triple congenital amputee with a loss of limbs below both her elbows and a foot missing toes. So while maybe her peers were completing tasks faster, Aubrey wasn't going to let anything stand in her way. It's just one small part of me. It doesn't make me me. But Aubrey says sometimes that's all people see. Teasing and bullying started mostly on social media. Aubrey's grades started falling behind and the feelings, she says, were overwhelming, but a support group of family and friends gave bullying a new tune. You just need to learn how to tune it out because people are gonna say stuff no matter what. And they just remember that it's probably because they're insecure about something that's going on with them, so they wanna take out their anger and agitation on you. For Aubrey, music is a place where she can feel any emotion. If I'm feeling kind of like sad or peaceful, I can listen to Lana Del Rey. And play any emotion. The challenge was going from something like this to something like this. After a recommendation from her middle school band teacher, Aubrey was getting one of a kind prosthetics made especially for her by Tennessee Tech students in the Tech Engineering for Kids program. So she plays the drums and she also play like mallets. Will she play like a xylophone, something like that? So like, are we going to have to have, is it going to have to be able to hold different handles? How is it going to be like secure to the hand? Like all of these are questions that we're kind of thinking through. After three to four weeks of planning, the 10 students decided to create the prosthetics using only a 3D printer. And that's when I sort of said those infamous words. I said, there's a one in a million chance that that'll work. But I said, but, you know, give it a try. So like, I took a big shot in the dark just by seeing this like filament, which is TPU, which is basically just rubber, would even work. So my team was counting on me if it didn't work, we're going to have to go from like square one. The process was measurements, multiple drafted prosthetics, trial and error. It was definitely a trust the process type thing. She's got a bit of residual, but not a ton. So trying to get something that is going to be able to be secure, but then not painful. We went through so many drafts. The prosthetics went from a solid, firm structure to then having holes formed to become more breathable. It was just a bunch of prints over and over again just to see if we can do this because each print was like 24 hours long. A full semester later, the prosthetics finally fit. We were just sitting there just looking at it like, wow, we just accomplished this. I did get to see it like actually fitting on her arm and everything. And that was just like, that was something that was so cool to get to see. The final product was durable, flexible, and adjustable, but most importantly, gave the sound she was looking for. I had hope to be able to continue this. Well, she just had such better like sound quality and the way that we designed the like wrist of the arm, like it had some flexibility to where it was like, you know, to get that paradiddle type sound. They were so enthusiastic and like determined to make it work. And not only did Aubrey gain a firm grip and sound with her drumsticks, she gave Tennessee Tech students a tempo to carry with them into the future. Ultimately, I wanted to be able to use like my knowledge in mechanical engineering to help someone. It's more than just a class. Like, so if I had to say that, it's just she's been a blessing on my life. It's kind of unbelievable because I'm like building their future. Now, Aubrey tells me her resounding message for people listening is don't give up, even if it seems hard. In Murfreesboro, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.